Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to my channel, Practical Programming with Dr. Su. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with WGPU graphics programming in Rust. In the last video, I explained how to create a colorful triangle in WGPU. In this video, I will show you how to create point and line primitives in a WGPU application. The WGPU API contains several built-in simple shapes. We call these basic shapes as primitives. Currently, WGPU has five primitives, uh, including point list, line list, line strip, triangle list, triangle strip. Today, we will discuss the first three primitives, point list, line list, and line strip. From here, you can see we will use the same six vertices to create these primitives. For point list, it is very simple. It is just to draw a point on each vertex. For line list, we draw a line segment for each two vertices. You can see here, we have six points and we can produce three line segments, A, B, C, D, and E, F. Why for the line strip, we draw a continuous line that passes through all the points. Here, we will use the Git tool to clone the source code used in the last example and then make changes to this source code to create the project used in this video. Now, we start a Visual Studio directly from Windows Start menu here. Here is a Visual Studio Code interface. Now, let's start a new terminal window and cd into a code folder and then make a new directory wgpu04 and cd into it next uh, we can clone the source code used in the last video with the command git clone wgpu03 after this command we uh, place a uh, space and a period. This will place our, our source code in the current folder. So run this command. We can check the code derived. So we can see the, our, the source code is indeed in this folder. Now we can open this folder from Visual Studio Code. Open folder the code WGPU04. You can close this getting started page. Here it contains all the source code used in the last video. Now we need to make some changes to our Cedar code from the SRC folder. Open the cedar.wgsl file. Now we need to replace its content with a new code. You can see this code contains two seeders. One is a vertex seeder and another is a fragment seeder. Inside the vertex seeder main function called vsmin, we create a vector tool array. You can see array, a vector tool, including six points. You can see here. Each point is a vector tool type representing x and y uh, coordinates. This function returns a vector 4 uh, position by adding 0 to the z component and 1 to the w component. The fragment seeder is very simple. You can see here, it is just return a color with a vector 4. You can see this is r, g, b, and a. So here we just 1101. This just return a yellow color. Now we can save this file. Next, we want to create a common Rust file that can be reused for 
different uh, primitives. Now add a new file to the src folder. We call the common dot rs file. Then we need to add some code to this file. This code is very similar to that uh, in the main.rs file used in the last uh, video. The difference is that here we first define a structure called the input. You can see here, which allows you to change the seeder file and uh, primitive topology without the need to change the code in this file. So another difference from the code used in the previous example is inside this pipeline here, run the pipeline here, the primitives. Instead of using the default primitive settings as in the uh, last video here, we specifically set the topology here, you can see is from input structure. And also we need to set the strip index format for any list primitives including a point list, line list, and a triangle list, we can set this strip index format to none, which is also default value. However, for the strip primitives, including line strip and a triangle strip, we need to set its value to uint32 type. Finally, our run function here, except the input structure, we also have a, another input argument called number vertices. That lets you specify the number of vertices used in create our uh, primitive shape. You can see that we use this parameter when we call the R pass draw here. You can see this number of vertices. So the rest of the code is the same as that we used in the last video. So now we can save this file. Next, we need to make some changes to the main.rs file from src folder, open main.rs file. Here we need to replace its content with the new code. Here we first load the Rust module use a mode and a comment here. The mode declaration makes the Rust compiler looking for the corresponding comment.rs file automatically. This way, the functions defined in the comment.rs file will be available to our main.rs file here. Inside the main function, we first set a primitive tag to the point list which is a default setting. In order to avoid the code duplication, we make the program accept the command line arguments uh, with this code here. We use a function from Rust standard library. You can see standard env argues. This function returns an iterator of the command line arguments. This iterator produces a series of values, and we can call the collect function on the iterator to convert it into a collection. You can see we use vector string as a collection. That contains all the elements the iterator produces. Here we set the primitive uh, tab to the second element here. You can see the arguments one. This means the second element because the first elements always uh, represent the project name. So the primitive tab must be the second element of this collection. There are three possible comment line arguments here. We can select one is a point list, another uh, two are line list and a line strip. Here the default setting is point list. The following code is used to set primitive topology and a strip a index format 
or according to the command line input, not that for the point list and the line list, we set the index to the none. You see, for this is for point list, this is for line list, we set the index from it to none. But for the line strip, we set this format to u int 32. We then uh, set the favorite of the input structure. And finally, we call the common run the function to create our primitive shape. Now we finish the modification to this file. We can save this file now. Up to now, we have completed our programming. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window to create our primitives. Cargo run first point list. Here is our point list primitives. It is so the six, you can see one, two, three, four, five, six uh, yellow points. You may notice that the size of the points is only one pixel, which is too small to be seen here. Unfortunately, the current WGPU API does not support changing the size of the points and the thickness of the lines. They are all set to the one pixel by default. Next, we can run the cargo run line list. Uh, this produces three line segments. That is, every two points form a line segment, three yellow line segments. And next, we can check the line strip. Strip. You can see here, this uh, generates a uh, single line segment uh, that passes through all the points. Okay, I will end this uh, video here. In next uh, video, I will show you how to create triangle parameters in WGPU. Thank you for watching. Thank you.